So I get asked this question a lot, and I was looking back at our previous videos, and I realized we actually don't even have this video. Why? Why did we create our brokerage? We get asked this all the time. They see our growth. They see us breaking records. They see us as the fastest growing office. They see us as the highest paying brokerage, but it always comes back to why. And I think that's really important for people to understand, especially if they've ever considered, well, maybe I want to align with that company or maybe I want to work for that company, but why should I? Why did they start? Who are they? And so that's a disservice on you guys as far as we've never had this why video before. So let me start with a quick backstory of why we came into existence. Why did we start this company? Well, I started in real estate not too long ago, 2017, fresh out of college and moving to a brand new state, getting started, being a real estate agent and learning that, wait a minute, I'm now in sales. Wait a minute, nothing's going to be handed to me. If I want success, I have to go get it. A lot of brokerages, you can hear, well, they'll give you leads or they'll give you this or that. But really, it comes back to the individual. Because at the end of the day, most real estate agents, they're all independent contractors. They're not employees of the business. They are on their own. They're their own small business owner. And so as soon as I figured that out, I went to work. I knew nobody's going to hand me anything. Nobody's going to give me anything. If I want to have a successful career, I need to be the success I want. If I want to make a change, I need to be the change that I see. And so that's why I started with just the basics of door knocking. It was free. I didn't have a crazy marketing budget, but I could talk to people and I could wear out my shoes. I had holes in them. I had blisters in my feet. I was door knocking in 100 degree Florida heat with 100% humidity, but I knew I could not fail. I knew that I had to do whatever it took because if I failed, that meant I failed myself. I failed my wife. I failed my dreams, my family. I would have to move back to Tennessee and just fail. And I could not do that. And so as I was going, and I'm going to wrap up to start getting towards the why, is as I started progressing, and within my first eight months, I capped at my first company. And a cap just means that for the remaining four months of my work anniversary, that I could earn 100% commission. But in order to get that, I capped. I paid the maximum amount of money to my company, $21,000. Now, I'm not bashing on this company. This video is made only with love. So I just wanna set that up front, but it just didn't work for me. I paid $21,000 and that meant as soon as work, work year number two started, it'd be another 21,000. And then year three, another 21,000. And then another 21,000. Five years would have been $100,000. But my first couple months, I didn't think of it that way. I thought this is just normal. This is just how it's supposed to be. I work really hard. I do whatever it takes. I chase that deal. I finally get it. I close it. And then I just, here, here's 36% to the company. Just like that. Even though it was my own lead, even though I was doing everything necessary to build my own little small business as an independent contractor, here's 36%. And when, when we think about it in different areas of life, think about your kid's education. You wouldn't say, well, I'm fine with them just getting a 70% education. Let's just throw out English and math. That's okay. That's 30%. We'll just toss that aside. 70% is good enough. Or you wouldn't go to a restaurant, order a hamburger, and they keep 20%. They keep the buns and the cheese just because they can. That's not normal. And so I had my light bulb moment when I realized, wait a minute, and NAR says it best, National Association of Realtors, 97% of people Choose to work with you because of you, not because of the company you work for, but because they know you, they like you, they trust you. That's when the light bulb went off in my mind that, wait a minute, people are working with me because they see me out there hustling, door knocking, working in the heat, sweating, having blisters on my feet. That's why they choose to work with me because I'm getting out there and meeting new people. I'm building my small business. Nothing is being handed to me. I have to go get it. And so when I made that distinction, and when we finally decided to come back to Tennessee, because all our family is here, we thought, wait a minute, let's build something completely different. Let's do something that is not just the status quo. The status quo that I accepted early on in my career, that 30% uh, of everything goes away, plus 6%, plus my clients pay an admin fee, that's just normal. Let's do something that disrupts the status quo. Let's build something 
that gives agents the best chance of success. You know, at our company right now in Tennessee, the average commission extra earned when you close a deal with us, it's over $3,500. That's an extra cruise. Two deals, that's basically a used car. Three, four deals, we're talking about a down payment on a house. Just in one year. I'd much rather give agents the best chance of success. Give them their money that they've earned and let them do what they want to do with that money. Why should my brokerage be my largest expense? It shouldn't. Whether it's 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%. There's all these different splits. But why should the brokerage be the largest expense? Should I give away 70% of everything I make? It came out to more than the IRS was taking for taxes. For my own deals, my own blood, sweat, and tears, my late nights, my late weekends. Why? So why did we create Zach Taylor Real Estate? Because it came from a place of wanting change. I learned this very early on as a kid that nothing was going to be handed to me in life. If I wanted something truly, if I wanted it, I would have to go get it. If I wanted a change, I have to be that change that I see, that I want. And collectively, our message has been spreading throughout the state. It's made us the fastest growing brokerage. We're also the highest paying brokerage because agents are believing in what we're offering here. No more should we have to have all these crazy splits, these franchise fees, these admin fees, these 100% companies, but then there's a sliding scale based on price point. There's a broker admin fee. Then there's a business tax fee or there's an admin fee. That's, that's getting away from the foundation of what this business is meant to be. Real estate is always, it's always been and it always will be a people business. It's not tech-based. It's real estate. It's not whatever anybody else thinks. It's people. It's about relationships. People want help when they're selling a house. They're buying a house. For most people, it's the largest transaction in their life. They want somebody they can count on to walk them through the steps necessary to hit their goals and dreams. And so if we're looking at it from that framework, it's a people first business. So why not put the agent first? Why not put every single real estate agent that works with us first? Give them the best support. Give them all the tools that they have at somewhere else. Give them incredible training. Just check out our YouTube channel. Over 15,000 views in the past year. We're just giving away free content, trying to make this industry better, trying to give other agents, even at other companies, like, hey, I understand you don't want to join us right now, but just check out this video. Check out 50 lead generation ideas. Here you go. How to get your first five deals every year. Here you go. How to build a purchase and sale agreement. Here you go. Because we want to put agents first every single day. It's not about me. It's not about Taylor. It's about the agent. We don't exist without the agents. And it'll never be about me. This is Marshall's t-shirt. These are Black Friday Duluth jeans. These are Christmas gift uh, tennis shoes. Because I'm not worried about any of that material stuff. I'm not worried about big fancy house, big fancy car. Dro drove the wife's versa today to be here on a Saturday, to give our message of why did we start this company? All that stuff is byproduct of just helping enough people, but that's truly why we wanted to help the agents is because I was through what you're going through right now. I just accepted it as normal. Oh yeah, it's just normal. I just give away 30% of all my money, then another 6% franchise fee, then an admin fee. I just accepted that as the status quo. I got in a little comfort bubble. And if you think about success, success is not comfortable. Being great is not comfortable. Having things good, that's average. Think of, think of it as your comfort zone as a balloon that you add air into. As soon as you stop expanding that balloon, you get comfortable. You get used to that. And that's what I did at my brokerage. I got used to giving away all that money. I got used to knowing that went towards executives out of state. That went towards funding other office spaces that I was never going to use. That went towards staff that I never interacted with or didn't help the bottom line of my business. 
went towards extra tools that I wasn't even using. Instead of worrying about my business, that money was going elsewhere to help their business. And so every single day when we get asked why, it's to make a difference in this industry. It's to make a lasting impact. And this is going to sound a little harsh, but 100 years from now, none of us are going to be here. But this video can exist to inspire people to make them keep adding air in the balloon, to expand their horizons, to get uncomfortable. Because when we can get uncomfortable, when we can go through change, that is where we start experiencing real success. When we go from good to great, when we keep expanding our boundaries and challenging the status quo, why do things, why do they have to be this way? If, if change is good, if change has other possibilities, if change can lead to more money, more opportunities, more freedom, more help for my family. Maybe I should check it out. So that's why we've created Zach Taylor Real Estate. It's to put the agents first. And that's why I'm here on a Saturday morning to come and speak to you guys to show what we are about. It's why I wake up every day, 4 a.m. Because I know there's another agent out there that was just like me that said, this is just normal. And we meet those agents every single day. We're the only office to add over 100 agents. We're the only ones to do it. Agents are starting to realize, why am I doing this? Why is this normal? And I got to keep things professional, which hurts even more with a sports background where maybe you talk a little trash or you talk about the opponent, but um, no names being said. But that's what gets me fired up to wake up at 4 a.m. Because I know at different companies, and I can't say names, but if they join that company instead of us, they won't be able to get a hold of a broker. If they join that company that promises all these leads and then they switch, they don't get any leads. Or they, they join because of a culture or community that they think exists, but yet they don't know the backstory. They don't know that the company they're joining might be millions of dollars in debt. So if I don't wake up early, if I don't spread our message of why we're doing what we're doing, then they might go to that other company and not have the best chance of success. I owe it to myself. I owe it to you to give you this free content, to give you the free trainings, to try and outreach to you, to say, come on, let's earn hundred percent. Let's give you your money back. Let's do it the right way. Let's give you the support you actually need. Let's be able to, Hey, you call me on the weekend. I'll answer. There's nothing extra for that. We don't charge fees for that. We're just here to help you. Let's give you free training, whatever you need, different vendors, different YouTube videos, different in-person classes, whatever you need. We got it. You need different tools. We got those too. This very similar ones to what you already have, but now you can have hundred percent of your money, not giving away 20%, 30%, 40%. We want to give agents the best chance of success right here at Zach Taylor real estate. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below or Click the link that goes to our website, book a time, speak directly with me. Even if you don't want to join, but you just want to ask how to get better in your real estate business, that's what we're trying to do. We just want to meet with agents, help them get to the next level. Whether that's with us, with another company, we can all help each other. This industry needs a change. We have to remove a lot of these expenses that eat away at real estate agents. Did you know 80 to 90% of new agents drop out of the business within three years? 80 to 90% drop out within three years. And there's a lot of variables that go into that, but I don't want cost to be one of those. That's what we're trying to change. We're trying to get rid of that. If I can give you 20% more, if I can give you 30% more, could you last longer in this industry to finally get over that hump and start having a lot of closing, helping a lot of families, putting people first, just like we are? I think it would. So we're trying to strip away Hey, you're being charged for this. You're being charged for this. You have a split. You have a, a franchise fee. We're stripping away all that to get this industry back to what it's meant to be. People first. Not brokerage first. Not the broker's pocket first. But you first. The real estate agent. The agents. The people behind the business that have built this. Let's get back to you guys. Let's put you first. So like I said, if you have any questions... Click the link below, schedule time to speak with me. I'd love to help your real estate business. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.